Today we're on Whitney Canyon Park and we're gonna hike to Ellesmere Falls. So according to the Y'all Trails app, this is a three mile round trip hike. However, when you do this hike, there is a turnoff up ahead that you gotta do to make it to the waterfall. And it's gonna be about right here and I'm going to show you the red arrows pointing this way, meaning it's going to be up that creek bed. So right now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and show you the All Trails app 2D version. And it's basically going to be up this trail right here, up through that creek. Now onto the hike. It'll begin at the parking lot. So this hike is going to be a loop. Basically, you can go either direction. It's going to take you up the same way. But we're going to go ahead and take the less steep route. So we're just going to go down this canyon right here. And right here is where you're going to go down the hill. And when you get down this hill right here, there's going to be a creek that you're going to see. And it's right here. And we're just going to continue on. And of course, this trail does have some shade. There are a lot of oak trees on this trail. So you're going to get a good amount of shade. And there are quite a few creek crossings. And it recently just rained. So right now the trail is very muddy. So just be careful not to slip or fall and make sure to wear hiking boots or make sure to bring an extra pair of sneakers because you will have to get your feet a little wet and you could just stop by this creek and admire the sounds of the creek. So this is a good hike to do in Santa Clarita. And then you're going to see this turnoff right here. But you're just going to go straight ahead. And you will see these nice rock mountains with holes in them. They look cave-like. And right now, it's very green because of the rain that they have had for the past few weeks. And I would say December to maybe March may be the best time to do this hike. Because once spring hits, this waterfall will dry up. And there is a bench and mile markers right next to you. And another creek crossing. And I did slip right here. Like I said, it is very muddy, so you got to be very careful when you make your way up the canyon. And another creek crossing. And once we get to the creek bed turn off, we will have to do some rock scrambling. And another mile marker. And as you can see throughout this trail, there are puddles on your way through the canyon. But that's okay, it's manageable. And when you get to this point, you're going to make a left. So you're going to basically get off that main road and get on to where the creek is going. And there is a man-made path that you do cross. But at some point, the trail just sort of disappears. And basically, you got to follow this creek up ahead. And basically, just stay along the creek. And another creek crossing right here. And there are some rocks that you could just sort of hop on, make your way around the creek. And you can see the trail right here. But at some point in the map, or the old trails app, it just sort of disappears. But as long as you stay on it and follow this creek bed, you should be fine.
and this is a very nice trail for a local hike and this is the rock scrambling we're gonna have to do to get up here so i'm just gonna climb over these rocks right here and once i climb over these rocks it will take me up to the waterfall so we're actually getting pretty close this is only a three mile round trip hike so it's not a very long hike and you can see the creek bed going down and that's the waterfall right there and we're gonna go ahead and just climb i was gonna climb on the left side but i decided to climb on the right side and so i'm gonna go ahead and climb on this side right here and this is the waterfall guys i hope you enjoyed this hike it's a good hike in santa Clarita to do and thanks for watching please like and subscribe